What's up guys, it's Jordan. Today's video is going to be a pretty long video. So just stay tuned for it. Um, things have been changing lately and I thought I would discuss them. Before I discuss them, look how beautiful it looks outside. Really beautiful. So instead of getting straight to the point, it's gonna be a little story time. Let's go back three to four months. I was uh, definitely in a relationship. Um, I'm not gonna go in depth about any of that. Just know that it didn't work out. So with that being said, I was going through a tough time in life. Uh, I made up a few lies. I tried to do things to myself that I shouldn't do. Ended up me being in the hospital. I had a lot of stress on my um on my chest. I had a lot of stress on my chest mainly because of the actions of other people and I had a price to pay. But my saying is is that if I don't have no money in my pocket then I shouldn't have anything. Honestly. So I worked for my shit, paid off what I need to pay off and it's gone. Talking about a cell phone, by the way. People didn't want to pay off their shit, so I decided to take the initiative and pay it. Simple, not chipping, not complaining, not nothing. It was in my name, so of course I'm responsible for it as a man. But it wasn't fair. Life is not fair. So why am I gonna complain? Paid the phone off. Then I found out, hey, I'm able to get an iPhone 13 Pro Max for $86 today. And we're gonna go stick to that OD story. It's a whole lot of stuff happening in this video. It's gonna be weird, but I have to discuss it just so people know. Um, you know, when I was in the hospital, that's when I found out my journey began. That I had to be better than what I expected myself to be. And that's like thinking outside the box. So I started focusing on TikTok, right? 16K of the fam on there. I had 16K of the fam on TikTok. So then I started making posts about how I felt, how I felt destroyed, how I felt weak, or how I felt not good enough. And I had about over 300 people message me. If you ever need something, we're here for you. And that was the most supportive moment I've ever had in a long time. And I'm not going to include my family because they're always supportive and I'm not going to compare. So my family supports me and I appreciate the hell out of them for that. So I stay in the hospital for about a week. They're doing everything that they can. Realize that that had led up to my heart. Just going through the roof. I mean, my heart beats and all that other stuff. It was high. So they put me on a monitor. So I realized that what I was doing was really fucking myself up. Fucking myself up as a human being and I wasn't able to get the things that I needed done in my life. So I realized that I have to focus on myself, start loving myself because myself, me, Jordan, I did not deserve what I had coming to me. And that's me treating myself bad. Me allowing things to happen that shouldn't have happened. But like I tell people, it's life. And the things that we learn in life, the lessons, are extremely valuable. And that's when I turned over a new leaf. But let me tell you the real reason why I'm here. Why I'm still here today. Why I'm still trying to pursue everything that I thought I could not do. Why am I still here? I love myself. I love myself. And that's one of the most, it was one of the most hardest things to say. Mainly because I never thought so highly of myself. I never thought that, you know, I would ever achieve my goals, that I would ever even become anybody. And that what I was going through, it was affecting me so much mentally that I couldn't even withstand it. So what I did to self-improve myself, I took myself out. I treated myself out. I bought myself some nice clothes. I bought myself some shoes. I bought myself a new phone. Hell, I bought myself a lot of new stuff. 
my point in that is because I deserved it. I needed to take myself out. The things that I was doing for other people, I didn't realize that I was able to do for myself. That's because I was stuck in the box. So when I'm stuck in the box, I can never see really what's outside of it. And little did I know that loving myself would have became the biggest blessing in my life. And that's really why I encourage a lot of people that if they ever need anything, I'm here. Because I know how it feels to be alone. I know how it feels to not have somebody check up on you on a day-to-day basis. I know how it feels to give somebody your all and gone like that. Within a matter of seconds or minutes, it's gone. And I still appreciate those moments in my life because it taught me something in the lesson Learning the lesson in life is more important than just seeking vengeance, seeking revenge. I don't ever seek revenge. That's the most just immature thing to do. I'm an adult now, so the last thing, or actually just no thing I should be doing is trying to get back at somebody because they did me some type of way that I didn't like. Hold on, I got a lot of mail. So I actually have a project for baby right here. As you see, I cleaned off the rims and did the tire. Simple stuff, nothing big, but <clears throat> it's something. Favorite part about the car. There we go. Got some stuff inside, got new floor mats, steering wheel cover. I think it, I think it deserves some tent too. Looks like a fishbowl. But yeah, did the tires and rims. Guess I'll add you guys in this little vlog. Need some more work done. Especially this one. This one was already messed up. So it's like, if you go in close, it's kind of bad. Then I'll just wait for her to greet me. guys to really take a good look at how beautiful it really does look out here like i know i got sidetracked but it's a vlog man it's gonna it's gonna look good regardless like this is beautiful just out here country living man nice lexus nice porsche oh man bad roads that's how you know you're reaching the country It's really beautiful out here. You know what I think about sometimes? Like, bro, two months ago, I was really in Sacramento. We was leaving the house, going to the park, and got some really good family time, like, just to enjoy each other and really talk about certain things. And I realized, like, I got to be here, and I got to make it. Now, in a minute, I'm going to explain to you guys what I mean by I gotta make it. So, let's pick up my sister first and then we'll get to it. But yeah, let's go back to where I was talking about I need to make it. A lot of people are just probably going to be like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, what? Because <clears throat> that's, how, that's how I would. I'd be like, what are you talking about? That's what I mean. Everything that I have put my effort and my all into, I have to achieve those goals. I have to achieve those goals and I'm going to. And I'm just saying this because this is one of the main topics I really wanted to go over today is um, just the goals that I have and what I've done to pretty much achieve that kind of like a progress report. I'm just letting you know how it's going right now, but that doesn't mean that things can't change later on. I'm sticking with my script though. So I wanted 50K on YouTube next year, right? Got to put in the work. <clears throat> so I've been, I bought an iMac for editing. Been so much easier to post longer videos because I also have fiber optic internet. So that's two things that's a plus to make things a little bit more easier on my side. The next, I'm gonna have to get a camera or I'm gonna have to get something where the video quality is a lot more better than it is now. Well, not to say that 
it's not good it's beautiful actually but i want my videos to come out and i've done something really risky now of course you guys are gonna be like i don't know you do it's nothing bad guys nothing bad but it's risky i um i'm throwing all my eggs in the basket for youtube now i have school that i'm gonna be going to for my backup plan i'm gonna be going to school get everything that i need to become successful or whatnot to make sure that i can enlist myself to at least make six figures but in order for me to do that i gotta put in work and work requires time so i've been spacing time out throughout my day so i can get the things that i need to get done done so with youtube it's been growing okay it's been growing it's been growing beautifully and i have to thank you guys for that because you guys i don't i know you guys don't just subscribe to anybody who just says to subscribe to them because then you would be subscribed to everybody obviously you guys subscribe for a reason and i also get like messages from people saying and it really does make me want to work a lot more harder. And I'm glad I do what I do. I can sit here and tell you, yeah, I get annoyed with helping people, but I don't. I don't. I'm a simple man. I don't like to, <clears throat> I really don't like to do things I don't like to do. So if I'm doing something, it's because I like to do it or I just want to help out. Me helping people has nothing to do with my life, okay? Believe it or not, that's something that I just created that platform for on TikTok. So people can go there and so people don't feel alone. Now, how do people not feel alone or whatever? How do people just, you know, on your TikTok? I don't know how I would explain it necessarily, but let me try to. Um... How do you feel not lonely just by going to my page? I have so much relatable content. A lot of relatable content that a lot of people can relate to. Things that people go through. Some things that just people just can't let go. Some people are going through relationship problems. Some people are going through mental health issues. And... When I'm talking to someone or when I'm helping somebody out or if I'm making a post, it really does help people get through their day. And when I read 15 to 20 comments like that, I feel so happy because at first I didn't know my purpose. And then I noticed that I, I, I'm really good at speaking. I'm good at speaking about how I feel and I'm good, good about speaking my mind. And that's really where the motivational speaker came from. Before, when I was going through it, wouldn't have been good for me. But now, now that I love myself, now that I have everything under control, it's really one of my dream goals is to speak about mental health and ensure that Nobody's alone because at the end of the day, nobody really is alone. Let me explain to you guys how. You're going through depression, right? And there ain't nobody there for you. Let's say nobody ain't there for you. That don't mean that somebody else ain't going through that. So in that category, you're not alone. Somebody's always there. One of the main things I try to teach people nowadays is um, how to become independent how to not rely on anybody to get stuff done for you because you'll always be disappointed when somebody doesn't do something the way that you want it but you know how to do it but you just let them do it for you being independent is powerful because you battle a lot of things alone and that's a beautiful dance oh my goodness beautiful um i get distracted easily being independent really means that you don't go to nobody for a lot. Dep 
depending on people. I don't think that there's nothing wrong with it. But I feel like you'll get a lot more disappointment from depending on somebody to get it done for you. Which, in this world, sometimes we have to depend on people to do stuff for us. Hey, let's say the houses that we live in. We depend on construction workers to get that done for us. Our cars, car manufacturers. We have to depend on them to get that done for us. Yes, we could do it ourselves, but it's a, it's, it's going to be so long and impossible. So that's one of those things. Or when you take your car to the shop and they say they, they can fix it up, you got to depend on them to get it done. If they don't get it done, hold them accountable. So really with my YouTube and TikTok, YouTube is going beautifully. I've been dropping, made a schedule of when I post. Um, unfortunately, family issues is going on. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to have it going. But all I do know is, is that no matter what does happen, whatever happens, we're going to get through it. And we're going to get through it strong. Like, I'm going to be so honest. Life is not bad. We just have bad days. We do. So when I have a choice to, or the chance to observe nature, it's really beautiful. And that's really one of my calming spots in life is just enjoying nature and stuff like that. So let me go over this again because I've plenty of different, I didn't plan this out. I was really just trying to speak from how I felt, experiences that I went through. Um, let's really just say that I've grown within the last three months of me suffering depression, not feeling good enough. I feel more than good enough now. I feel like I shouldn't, now I know that I shouldn't let anybody get inside my bubble. Not let anybody have that opportunity to mess me over. So TikTok, I post on my TikToks about four to five times a day. Not recently, but for good reasons that I'm not talking about. I will be doing that today though. I post on YouTube, I try to get it in at least three times a week. So if there's always more than three, hey, there you go. I go to the gym. The gym helps with self-confidence. It helps with pretty much telling myself what's good and what's not good. And um, disciplining myself, pretty much. That's what it helps me with so I don't get off track. Um... There's multiple of, of other things. But one of the main things that I try to go, like, just go through is um, keeping my head up, realizing that everything happens for a reason and that if it happens, maybe I shouldn't question it. It happened for a reason. I'm Me solving a case, I'm not a damn detective, man. I'm not. So when I'm making these videos, when I'm going in depth about certain situations or how I'm feeling... It's because I believe in myself. When I ask questions, it's because I want to find out an answer that I don't have the answer to, pretty much. It's going to be a long journey and road ahead. And life on these media sites that I'm trying to grow on. So one day I could take it easy and I don't have to overwork myself doing a job, man. That's not the goal. The goal is to become wealthy, not rich. Forget being rich. If I'm not having some type of passive income coming in, then I'm doing everything wrong. And I'm not doing it just for the money, but you guys got to realize that if I'm trying to make this, you know, my livelihood or my lifestyle, I have to do that. I have to keep pushing to become better. I really do. So I'm trying to make it out. I'm trying to do the things that I said I would achieve and I'm going to. And I can't keep talking about it anymore. So then I'll just show you guys. We're going to be out here chilling with my boy, though. Ain't that right? Mm-hmm. So.
But I just, uh, I wanted to make this video because somebody also had asked me. Um, you always asking people, how are they doing? But how are you doing? Let me explain something. I ask people how they're doing because some people go days without somebody asking them, like, how you doing? Or that I'm proud of you. Some people really don't hear I'm proud of you a lot. And if we heard it as much as we wish we did hear it, it would probably motivate us to become a hundred times better than we are today. So that's why I really do these check-ins with people. Obviously, I feel like this video might be a little whack because it just might be out of line. But you know what? At the end of the day, I had a point and I had to get it across so you guys could understand where I was coming from or, you know, how I was feeling about certain situations but how am I feeling? I'll tell you this right now. I've been kind of numb to everything. I've been kind of just brushing things off a little bit, trying to focus on today and not tomorrow or not yesterday or not the mistakes that I've made in the past that I can't fix or go back in time to control. So I've been just numb to things. I've been just relaxing, doing what I need to do, staying positive and really pushing myself to become a better person every day. One of my sayings is I like to do better than how I am yesterday. So if yesterday was a bad day, but today wasn't good, but it was okay and better than yesterday, I'm okay with that. Some people don't understand that just even the blessing of being able to wake up in the morning or, you know, just that, just that alone is amazing. And I get the opportunity to make the best out of a day. Yeah, I'm not going to be complaining as much. And I'm going to keep doing what I need to do. Because this was all given to me. And some people, unfortunately, don't wake up the next day. Tomorrow isn't promised. So, while you're living in today, you better make the best out of it. Because tomorrow is not promised. And I want to let a lot of people know that I am okay. Things happen for a reason. And there's things under my control that I can't control. So I've been okay to things. I've been pretty cool. I haven't been tripping as much. I've been keeping my head high. And I hope that you guys do that as well. And I wanted to touch base on another subject. Um, this guy was um, pretty much telling me how his some situation where somebody is better than somebody and I'm telling him nobody's better than nobody bro nobody's better than nobody we're all equal and that's the truth at the end of the day and whatever lie that you tell yourself that you know you aren't good enough and the other person is it's just a lie you're telling yourself a lie and that's the honest to God truth we're all equal. Nobody's better than nobody. We all have equal opportunities sometimes in certain situations. I'm not going to go into that because I'm not trying to start a debate. Because debates and all that other stuff does is just do nothing but divide. So do politics. That's why I don't get into politics. I know what's right. I know what's wrong. That's all that matters. So I don't know how long this video is supposed to be. I don't know how long it was going to be. I knew it was going to be pretty long. But I've been recording some footage, so... Um, should we just play with Axel? Let me put my shoes on. What's up, buddy? You see, I got the sports modes on the Crocs on. Look at all that snot on your face. Hey man, clean yourself up, Axel. What you doing? Look at that, man. All over your face. <laughs> I love this dog. Oh.
I love this dog. Without further ado, I'll catch you guys on the next video.